This video is going to focus on how to add pages. There are several ways that you can add pages. I say several. There's a couple ways that you can add pages to this website. Um, and before I really get into that, I want to explain the difference between this tab here and this drop down menu here. So this drop down menu here, I showed you in the website overview video that you can just use it to quickly navigate to a page. Uh, to me, I think the pr hitting preview and then using the drop down menus is much, as much easier if you want to get to a page really quick. But this is also another way. Um, but over here on the left, when we click on this pages tab, and again, I told you that the only two tabs that you'll really be using are this one and this one. So there's different options in both of them. But this is the pages tab. And this is how, let's say you uh, want to add a page for a staff member. So I have a staff member's name somewhere, but I don't have a page for them. Or let's say that you want to rename a page because I spelled something wrong, or you want to call it something different. You would do all of those things from here. So anything that you click on, so if I click on district office staff, it's also going to take me there. So it's just like using this drop down menu where it'll take you to the different pages that you're trying to go to. Um, and you can still edit over here. But the main difference between this and that is that this tab is where you add pages and where you edit the names of those pages or the URL of that page or anything like that. So that's the difference between the two. Um, that took me a while to understand why I couldn't, you know, here's the district, why can't I double click on the word district and then edit it right there? Well, it doesn't work that way. So if I wanted to edit the word district, I would have to make sure I'm selected on district here. And then you go into this little icon. So this is the page settings. So right here is the page settings for that page. So let's say I didn't want it to be capitalized. Okay, so I could change it to just district. Okay, or if I want to keep it the way it is, then I keep it the way it is. So I'm changing it back. This right here, the page address, that's the URL of the page. So when you go to www.senecar7.com slash welcome is what this should be. So like if I want to preview it, so if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can click on that. And this one, it's not going to say slash welcome because it's actually the home page. So that probably wasn't the best example. But if I click on this one, district office staff, now when I click on the go to page URL, it's going to show me um, SenecaR7.com slash district office staff. And I know that there's all these little weird characters in here, and that may be something that I need to talk to tech about. I'm not sure if it's the version of Wix that we have that does that. I'm not sure why it does that. It's really frustrating. It's annoying, especially if you're trying to give somebody a, a specific URL. You, you would have to make sure that you include these things, and so that can get kind of annoying. But anyways, that's something that we're working on. So hopefully I can figure out a way to get rid of those little extra things. But anyways, so that is how you change the name of a page. Um, that's how you edit the URL of the page. Um, yeah. So another thing to know from this screen here is when I'm looking at this, I see the name, the page address, and then I have these options. A set as home page. We obviously don't need to do that. The only one that set as home page is this one, and you can even uncheck it because this is the web. This is the home page for our website. So make sure you're never accidentally clicking that on something else because it'll mess everything up. <laughs> um, but the other option is hide from menu, and what it's talking about is when you're looking at the menu on our page. This is the menu, and these are the options that you have. If you are working on a page and you don't click that box, hide from menu, then it'll show up on the menu. And that becomes more important when we start adding pages later because, for example, all of these items, it's okay if these are on the drop down menu um, because our drop down menu isn't that long. And I'll show you what I mean. So, like if I hit preview. And I look at the drop down menu here. So if we had every single item on the district drop down menu, then this menu would be really super long. For example, 
staff pages. When I go to the high school, I can see the link to the high school faculty and staff, but I don't see every single staff member's name on this list because then it would be super duper long and that would not be user friendly. So that's what that means. So when you're adding a page, and you're looking at those settings, that's what that button is talking about. So if you click hide from menu, then it's going to take it away from that drop down menu. That's what it's referring to. And I am actually going to see, and you can see when it's hidden from the menu because it has this icon. So I'm actually going to take that check mark off because we do want the special education department to be represented in that drop down menu. Um, but we don't want the documents because they can get to the documents from this page. So it's okay if this page is on that drop down menu, but the other one isn't. So now, if I went to go preview what I was doing, now I can see that on there. So now I can see special education department. Yay! So that worked perfect. So that's how that works. And from the previous video, you know that if you just did something, you want to save it. So I'm going to hit save. Um, so it'll save the work that I was working on and then after I'm done with this video I'll hit publish just so that everybody in the world can see it. So from these pages here's how you add a page. There are two main ways to add a page. Number one, let's say I'm just going to pretend like I'm going to the high school page. Where does the high school page start? Oh, right there. Okay so when you're creating a page for your school you want to make sure that you click the school that you're making the page for. So if I'm going to make a page for the high school, let's say um, the Heritage Club wants to have their own page. We have a, a clubs and organizations page, but from that page they want to link to their own. So here's how you would do that. I have the school that I'm making the page for selected. Make sure you have the school that you're making the page for selected. Make sure you're not like, you know, clicked on a random person. Make sure you clicked on the school. It'll just make things easier. And as you work with it, you'll realize that you can, you know, I could be right here. It's not a big deal. But for now, just mentally tell yourself, I need to make sure that I'm on my building's page. So I'll go click on high school. And then I'm going to click add. So this is one way to add it. I'm going to show you another way in a minute. But I'm going to click add. And then I'm going to click page. And then when you get to this screen, there's just all these different layouts or templates, if you will, that are already set up. So you can choose from one of those. If you know you're going to be making a page with lots of pictures, um, then you're, you might want to pick one with pictures. So like here's the gallery one with all of these pictures. So if it's, uh, I don't know, if you have a bunch of pictures from an event that you've done over the summer, I don't know, whatever you want, then you could use this page. And then there's all these other options too. So if you know you're going to have a lot of text and you want your text to be separated, you might want that one. If you know you need text and pictures, then you might want that one. Or if you don't know what you want and you just want to start from scratch, then you can hit blank. Um, so I'm just going to click on one of these. I'm just going to click on this about one because it's got a title and it's got text and I know that I'll be able to edit it. So here's where you name your page right here. So don't forget to do that. Uh, so let's say I make it in the Heritage Club one. So I'm going to say Heritage Club. And then you always, always, always need to make sure, unless you're making a main page, um, but all of the main pages are basically made. The main pages are the district homepage um, and so, um, elementary homepage, intermediate, junior high, high school, Seneca Learning Center, and the early childhood. Those are the main pages. So everything else, literally everything else, is considered a subpage. So you probably just need to go ahead and hit subpage. Unless you're adding something up here, um, then you, you need to always hit subpage. So now that I hit that, I've got my template picked out, I've got my page named, now I hit the subpage, now I'm going to click OK. And I've got my new Pretend Heritage Club page here. And you'll notice there isn't anything up here in the banner. And I'm going to talk about that here in just a minute. And this text is just pretend text. And they even took the time to type all this stuff out for you to tell you what you could put here. Um, but then I could just change this to Seneca High School 
Heritage Club. And then I'm ready to go in and start editing my content. Um, so of course she may want to make this, she may want to put that in the center and she may want to bold it and make it red and make it size 25, who knows. Okay, so she could do whatever she wanted to do. I believe that's Mrs. Beck. Um, so that's how you create a page from the add page button. And since this is a high school page, when we go back here and when we scroll down, and really I could do this either way, I could have used the drop down menu or I could use this. But you'll notice that it's all the way down here at the bottom. So the start where I where I started a minute ago, I had clicked on the high school page, I had clicked add, and then I named my page and all that stuff. It didn't add it right underneath there. It actually adds it all the way at the bottom of that group. So that group is called high school. That's the main page of that group. And then I added it all the way at the bottom. And you'll notice there is not a little icon right here. It's not hiding it from the menu. So what that means is, just covered that a minute ago, when you hit preview and I hover over high school, there's Heritage Club. And obviously we have tons of clubs. We don't want those to be represented in the drop down menu. So I will come back over here to pages. I will scroll back down to my Heritage Club page and I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click hide from menu. So now it's hidden from the menu. Now when I hit preview and I hover over high school, it's not there. So that's what I want. Okay, so that's one way. And then you would need to go in. This is a high school page, so I would need to go in and just click on any of the high school pages, any of them, it doesn't matter, and hold down the control key and select both of those, copy, go down to my Heritage Club, where did it go, there it is, and paste. I did my control C and then control V, but you could have used these buttons too. So now it's there, we know this is a high school page, and I have my banner message on there. Um, the mobile version is what I would need to do next. I'm actually not going to do it in this video because I'll run out of time, but I would need to go through and drag and drop my elements, and this one's going to be really easy just because of the fact that um, it's all just a big block of text. There's not a bunch of um, separate elements, but I would just need to go through and make sure that this looks okay. So just make sure that any icons that I have are in the right spaces and that kind of thing. So anyways, I guess that was really easy. I, I could fit it in the video, but I have three minutes left, so I'm going to cover the rest of my stuff. Um, so over here, and that's the, that's the one, that's one way to add a page. So we had just clicked on the home page of the school that you were on. So I clicked on the high school earlier, and then we clicked add page. Another way to do it, which is a lot easier, is to duplicate a page. So I'm going to go to, I'm in the intermediate right now. And I know that because the junior high is next, intermediate goes before the junior high. So let's say I'm adding a staff member that we forgot about. There's two different staff pages. This is um, like the office staff. Um, and then you have like the teacher pages. So they are set up a little bit differently. So whichever one you want, you can just hit page settings, hit duplicate. And I'm just going to make up a person, Joe Smith. I'm going to hit OK. And then I have a new page called Joe Smith. And then here he is at the bottom of the list. So obviously, uh, Joe Smith is not Shelley Parmley, but I can see at the top that it says Joe Smith. So I know that I'm on the Joe Smith page. Now I can go in and start deleting Shelley's stuff. And I probably would just edit it so that way you don't have to redo it all. That was the point of duplicating it, but I'll change it to Joe Smith. Let's say he is a custodian and um, I would I could put the information the address information here if I wanted to. I would update the email and I'm, I'm going to talk about how to hyperlink things and all and stuff like that. Um, but he doesn't let's say he doesn't want this information so I take it out and then there you go. So here's Joe Smith's page. Um, and then I would want to go find this now because I want to get rid of it because Joe Smith is not a real person. So I'm going to click on this button and I'm going to delete. And now Joe Smith is gone. So that is how you add a page both ways. <laughs>